go ahead and walk to the sink. Observing her gait pattern and balance, okay? And actually, I'm gonna have you come back to the sink and on your way back, I just want you to put one heel right in front of the toe, like this, okay? Again, observing her balance and gait pattern. Good, that's fine, you can stop there. Just go ahead and stand with your feet together, okay? And then have you close your eyes. I want you to just try and maintain your balance. This is testing the Romberg. Okay, very good. Go ahead this time and you're gonna bring your hands all the way up above your shoulders, right? And again, close your eyes. And we'd have her hold this for 30 seconds, looking for any pronator or drift. Okay, that's excellent. You can come back on the table now. Have a seat. Okay. Now I'm going to be asking you some questions. They may seem kind of silly, but they help me assess your memory and cognition. Okay. okay? Can you tell me your full name? Jeanette Chua. Great. And what's the month, day of the week, uh, right today? December, and today is Thursday, or uh, Wednesday. Okay. And where are you right now? Midwestern University. Great. Okay. I'm going to give you three objects that I want you to try to remember because I'm going to ask you for them in a few minutes. Okay. okay? They are a rose, a sweater, and a hamburger. Okay. Go ahead and repeat them back. Rose, sweater, hamburger. Excellent. Um, now, tell me, who's the President of the United States? George Bush. Okay. And um, who discovered America? Christopher Columbus. And um, who was Helen Keller? She was the blind lady that um, somebody helped her learn Braille. Good. Very good. And what were those three objects that I asked you to remember a few moments ago? Rose, sweater, and hamburger. Good. Okay. Now I'm going to have you do some kind of mental calculations. You're going to start with 100 and subtract 7, and then you'll subtract 7 from that. Okay. And you'll keep going until I tell you to stop. Okay. Okay? So 100 minus 7. Okay. Um, 93, 86, 79, 72, 65. Excellent. You can stop there. Okay. okay. Next, um, I'm going to hold my finger up, and with your finger, you're going to touch your nose and then my finger. Okay. All right? So go ahead and do that, and you'll keep doing that until I tell you to stop. Okay. How about with the other hand now? Very good. Okay. Next, you're going to take your heel and place it right on top of your shin here. And maintaining contact with your shin, you're going to slide it all the way down and then back up. Okay? okay. Go ahead and do that. And how about with the other leg? Good. Okay. Now I'm going to be um, assessing some your sensation, a little bit more detail here. We're going to use sharp and dull, okay. okay? So I'm going to do it on your hands and your feet. So this is sharp mm -hmm. and this is dull, okay. okay? You feel the difference? Yes. Okay, go ahead and close your eyes and tell me if you feel sharp or dull, okay? Dull, sharp, sharp, dull, dull, sharp, sharp. Dull, sharp, dull, sharp, 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 dull, sharp, sharp, sharp. Sharp, dull, dull. Okay, very good. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and test your reflexes. Okay. All right, just place your hands. Just try to relax them if you can. Okay, and we'll do bicep and tricep, brachial radialis. Okay. The other side. Bicep, tricep, brachial radialis. Good. Now we'll do the patellar leg. Good. And Achilles. And finally, Babinski's. Good. 
and they're negative. That completes the neurological exam.